Manchester City will play their penultimate pre-World Cup league fixture on Saturday when Fulham visit the Etihad Stadium. City are back on Premier League duty this weekend after wrapping up their Champions League group stage campaign with a 3-1 victory against Sevilla on Wednesday. Given that City had already secured top spot in their group, the fixture was a dead rubber, meaning Pep Guardiola could afford to drop several of his key players to the bench and give minutes to the likes of Rico Lewis and Sergio Gomez. Erling Haaland and Manuel Akanji both missed the win through injury but both have returned to training and are available for selection. With City currently two points behind league leaders Arsenal, Guardiola will field as strong a side as possible in the hope of earning three points. With that in mind, here's how our City writers think Pep should set his team up for Saturday's 3pm kickoff. Guardiola said Grealish was taken off early against Sevilla with the weekend in mind, so he will surely start. Phil Foden is the obvious counter to him, not least because those two worked well together in midweek. Erling Haaland may not be fit for 90 minutes, but as long as he is good for more than a half it makes sense to start him and then bring Julian Alvarez off the bench. As the Norwegian has shown, he doesn't need long to make an impact and his presence in the team sheet will keep Fulham occupied. Bernardo Silva Kevin De Bruyne and Rodri obviously all come in after being rested in midweek, as does Joao Cancelo. Emeric Laporte can use a rest after 90 minutes against Sevilla, but Ruben Diaz will be handy against Mitrovic. Guardiola spoke more than once on Friday of the need to deal with Alexander Mitrovic's physicality and the need to win second balls because they won't be able to beat the Serbian in the air. For that reason, I'd guess that John Stones and Ruben Diaz are the strongest pair to battle Mitrovic, with Manuel Akanji able to return on the right. Bernardo Silva can come back to help mop up those second balls and set City on their way in attack, and Kevin De Bruyne came off the bench versus Sevilla to show why he must start, too. Jack Grealish was replaced at half-time on Wednesday, with Guardiola hinting he will play against Fulham so that can shift Phil Foden back to the right where he's been so effective this season. If Erling Haaland is fit, he should start. If not, Julian Alvarez will be full of confidence after his hand in three goals in 45 minutes on Wednesday. On Friday Pep Guardiola said that some of the players who did not start midweek will come back into the side, so I expect Joao Cancelo, Kevin De Bruyne, Rodri and Bernardo Silva all to return. Many City fans will want to see more of Rico Lewis after his midweek heroics, but let's not forget that he is still only 17. John Stones has looked good at right back in recent games, and his ability to tuck into midfield alongside Rodri should help City deal with Fulham breakaways. Nathan Arke has sat out City's last two games so Guardiola will be keen to give him minutes, while Ruben Diaz, City's most physical centre-back, should be picked to deal with the handful that is Fulham striker Alexander Mitrovic. The big talking point is whether or not Erling Haaland starts. If he's deemed fully fit then I think he will, anything less and Guardiola won't risk him. That the striker trained on Thursday and Friday is a good sign.